I kind of want to do All that. Right, I'll probably I've do that next time. Included my audio. Hey. All right, let me start this cutscene. I will grab your thing. Oh, I don't have the banner. Okay, hold on. Oh, right. We were supposed to go talk to what's her face. To the nurse keeper lady thing, yeah. The keeper of children. That sounds really bad, the nurse. It's rather amusing that some of, like, the hitbox on some of the attacks from the dogs will just leave them jumping completely over you without doing any damage. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, has Lancer, uh, items started? Allow me to spew will not they have to their like, head. It has, Lancer Class materials. Farming? Yeah. Yes, it has. Because I need one monument to get Ereshkigal's last ascension. Just the other Odakiri that you're dropping off, right? Yep. Okay. Where's the banner? And now come probably like the worst monsters in this game. Like you fight these things in the first one, but God, they're just horrific. But for some reason they're friendly and helpful now. For some reason they're friendly and helpful now. Yeah, I don't think they were in two. At least I don't remember them being in two. But now they're like, sure, we'll just transport you wherever you want. Meanwhile, in the first one, they're like, sure, we'll just eat your face whenever we want. The quote-unquote angels of Lothric. <laughs> Alright, I'm at the foot of the high wall. Alright, well, there should be a summon sign right next to the bonfire. Uh, I am embered, okay. It might take a moment okay. to show up. No, no, I remember. Huh. Maybe you pick it up and put it back down again? Like you're like you didn't even go down the stairs, right? Uh I've actually just been wandering around killing while I waited. So I've been well past down the stairs. No, but I'm saying like you didn't put your soaps down the stairs. Like there's No, I put the them like right all along the top of the stairs, basically. Yeah. I'll I wonder cancel. if I have to open the gate first. I don't think I have to. We started case, from but... up here before, like without having yeah, opened the thought. gate yet. Oh well, it's down again, right at the top of the stairs. So. Oh, okay. <sighs> Alright, boys, let's do it. Let's get invaded. <sighs> While I sit here. Just watch you get invaded just as the summon sign shows up. So you're able to summon it and it, the invader be someone on a fresh playthrough. So you're able to summon in my second most leveled character to help. <laughs> Boy, this is taking a hot minute, okay. Well, if you want to try going to open the gate, then maybe that will help. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to, like, you have the password and everything on, right? Yep. I don't know. It's weird. I'll give it, like, another minute. In the meantime, I have discovered a new, exciting caffeine delivery system. Oh, boy. Espresso gummy bears. <laughs> Why, though? 
<laughs> I don't know. A friend of mine, uh, Ray at work, brought like this little cup, and he's like, "You want a gummy bear?" I'm like, "Sure," and it's espresso. <laughs> Alrighty then. So good though. Like they were shockingly good. I could eat like ten cups of that and feel amazing. It's probably not healthy in like any way whatsoever, but no, definitely not. But it's so good. All right, I say just go ahead and and I'll move my summon sign to the next bonfire. Okay. Dogs, all right, bye, man. Close the gate, close I the gate, really close the gate. don't know what the deal is, though, because I know we've. I mean, I don't know. I guess we might have gone back through the gate to do it, but I know for a fact I've gone to talk to what's his face opposite, like away from the gate, while I had you summoned in before. Well, he's on, like, the fire side of the gate. Like, he's not on the other side. You were yeah, talking that's about, like, the, the hermit crab man? Yeah, that's my point. Like, maybe we've gone into the gate and then gone back out to talk to him, but I know I've talked to him while you were summoned in. Yeah, I feel like I've also, like, had Stark summoned in and, like, restarted at the top of the foot of the high wall, but I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm at the other bonfire, so if this doesn't work, then I don't know. Hmm. Well, are you seeing a summon sign there? I don't see anything. Oh, Do you boy. have the red sign substone? Because if the maybe it's just a problem with the white one. Just throw the red one down. I doubt I have one, but I can go get one if I don't. Do you know where to get it? I would assume from the same person I got the white sign from. Nope. Oh boy, where do I get it then? The red one you have to get uh, from Rosaria. Okay, I should have that bonfire. Yeah, if you go to her and... I think there's yep. a slug in her room that you have to kill. And when you kill that slug it just gives you the red sign substone. I wonder if I just take off the password, what happens? Oh, nothing. I mean, will it, would it even still be there now that I've traveled to a different bonfire? No, I'm just curious if I could see like any other summon signs. Which I guess is probably not that many people playing this I game. I got a pick and a crown from the no, slug I saw. So. A pick and a crown. Um, is that in the room? Yep. In her room? Yep. Let's check the doorway right outside of her room. It might be there. Like, there might be another slug. There's like a few slugs that drop things in her area. So, apparently my Xbox is just completely incapable of wireless internet now. Oh? Because when I tried to connect, it just... Like, I've been... I've had a wired connection. But when I tried to connect wireless, it just wouldn't do it. Oh? Oh? Hey! It worked! That's a summon sign. All it took was restarting my Xbox. 
and me wanting to kill myself. It's a Christmas miracle. I mean, isn't that just your base basic state of existence? That's gonna be my cat my catalyst for Charlotte Corday. <laughs> Thoughts of suicide? Have a one star. <laughs> ah, yes. The compensator. So, you know what I've been wondering? Mm -hmm. What are they going to do with. Like, what is the drop chance since. Saber Lily was added to the friend point summon. Like her drop, What's her drop chance. Yeah, or overall, her drop chance. Like it's gotta be even lower than a three star. Uh, lower than a three star, still more than Angramondu. That'd be my guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure anything is still more than him. Man, now that I got him, I can't wait to not upgrade him for the next, like, four months or whatever. Oh. I hate these crap ones. Loretta's bone! Oh, we never did go back and free Grey Rat. Oh well, that can be done some other time. Eh. We just can't forget, because he's a pretty good vendor. Oh no. Oh no. Are you dead? Right. Yep. Nice. I got killed by the big mace woman. I need to remember when we come through on mine, I gotta get the Pyromancer guy that's around here somewhere. Isn't he a little ways past here? The guy in the cage, right? No, he's the other direction. Oh. Like, he's across that little, like, broken bridge, and you go down that path and everything. Which is the path I pretty much always take, personally. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Alright, so, beat this bonfire and then we'll go back and do mine. I'm being invaded. Or Hodrick. Alright, oh, he's the AI invader. He's just going to murder me. I am going to die. Are you out of Vestas? Yeah. Nice. Well, okay. I'll go ahead and Let's activate this. The heck did he go? He always seems to get lost pretty easily. Come on, Hodrick. Nope. Nice. He's got some backswing, apparently. <laughs> he hits you with the backswing. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Uh, look out behind you. Hey, activate warmth. That is not warmth. That is the exact opposite of warmth. Oh, there he goes. All right, just get him to follow you around a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up real quick. He activated it again. Oh, okay. Now he just won't hit me. That's fine. All right, yeah, well, have fun. I was kind of busy dealing with the saw guy. Oh, he summoned out. He he killed one person, so he leaves. Yeah, I forgot how the purple guys work. All right, well, my turn. Let me finish. Actually, I guess this guy isn't anything important. He'll still be around for me to mess with at some other time. Okay, the game just decided I didn't need to rest anymore. All right, then. 
Uh, Does it let you rest? Uh, it let me, and then it immediately made me get back up. Ooh, that means it was in the middle of trying to get you another invader. <laughs> well, it didn't. It didn't manage to get me another one because I was able to sit back down immediately. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You're being invaded. You don't get to leave yet. And I'm like, you wanna bet? Was this you? Is this you? Nope, this is Internet EE. Okay. My summon. I've put my summon sign down approximately between the door and the bonfire. Halfway-ish. I can't wait for it to be in the exact same... Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. That's it. I can't wait for it to be in the exact same spot that this other dude put his. So you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. It puts your offhand weapon on your left hip along with your main hand weapon. Which means even if I got another Onikiri, I'd just have four swords on my left hip instead of two on each. No, we tested this, remember? It actually puts the other ones on your other hand on your other side. Except that's what I thought it that's what I thought I remembered it being, but if you look at my character now, I have three sheet, two sheaths, and a sword on my left. Right, but switch the Onikiri to your, like, to be your left main hand. Like, just switch the two swords. See? Onikiri puts it on the other one. Okay, also, I we're see. being invaded. Yeah, so, like, if you get the other Onikiri, you'll just put it on the other side. Okay, yeah. I can already see him coming through this thing. Okay, cool. And he's gonna try and bait us because of course he is. Yep, I'm just gonna go up here. Alrighty. He has poison. Oh, of course you're using that. That's such a cheap weapon. Should have been a backstab. You're dead. Okay, that was range, sure. RIP! Maybe you shouldn't have taken the idea I offered you. Maybe I shouldn't have. That centered around the weapon really you shouldn't still have. despise. I just I might just switch to the black blade once I get it, because the black blade is so much better. Has slightly shorter range, but uh what is this man? Okay, well he's gone. Alright. Well, I have my summon sign in the same spot. I don't have any more embers. Okay, so I'm coming to yours. Alright. Where did you put your summon sign? Uh, down at the, um, Undead Settlement. It's like, between the door and the bonfire. Or no, it's between this, like... Oh, it's as soon as I removed mine, you just showed up. Yeah. Summon to another world. I can't wait to get no progress!
So if we kill the tree, I think that gives me a number. I think. Yeah, but if we expect to try to do that, we'll have to make it all the way there in a single rush. I could just sprint past everybody. I I have four left. I could just give you one. Let's let's try this. Let's see if we can make it to the tree. I mean, right. the tree's not a hard fight. It's like so long as we make it there, then we're fine. Have you already started your sprint? Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's a bit more of a drop than I thought. Lock on, please! Alright, bye. And the gremlins chase for 30 miles because of course they do. An undead settlement has like a 15 minute delay on its wind up attacks, and it's just a dick. He's got. Oh, the gremlins and their dumb blowgun. And here comes Hodrick here again. Comes Hodrick. What are you doing? I'm waiting here at this other bonfire. I mean, that doesn't do us much good. No, I was waiting for you to get here. Alright, let's go. Also trying to avoid the Sawblade Man. Because mm. the Sawblade Man is not nice. Are we gonna try to kill Hobdrick? Yeah, because I think that also gives me an ember. Just trade backstab for me. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Alright, subs are actually, I'm gonna put them over here. Subs are down at like the beginning of the bridge closest to the fire. It took them a while for them to to show up, but eventually it happened. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost tempted to say we should throw a password and stuff back on since soaps are working, but I don't know if that's gonna mess it up again. Who knows? Is uh, Hodrick still here? I haven't. Or no, he him. left because. I died, I guess. Well, he should pop up again now. Oh no, yeah, he's still here. Okay. Alright, Chode. Okay. Oh. Tall boy is here. You were the worst person. Okay, why do you have backswing? Thank you. He doesn't anymore.
Okay, so, do you want to open the shortcut and then fight the tree, or fight the tree and then you can open the shortcut yourself? I say we go ahead and do the shortcut. Okay. Because won't that also make it a bit easier to get back to the tree if we somehow lose to it? Or would we go back around the other way? I mean, they're both about the same distance, but this way we won't have to deal with the giant throwing the javelins. True. Why? Ow. I'm dead. Oh, okay. She just did a 180 to kill me, too. That's nice. Um, I've only played Dark Souls 3. So, I can't... Uh, Void would know better what game is best to start with. Someone in my chat, by the way. Do what? There's... My cousin in What's the... Oh, in let me chat. flip over. He's asking, would I suggest starting with Dark Souls 1, then play through the series, or just start with whichever, or play a specific one? I mean, if you don't care about story, then start with whichever, but Dark Souls 1 is probably the second hardest in the... Well, no. Yeah, no, it's it's probably the second hardest in the series. Yeah, so. from all I've heard, two is the hardest, one is the second, and then three is the easiest. Unless you're counting Demon Souls. Unless you're counting Demon Souls, in which case that takes the cake by a landslide. Um, I and then Bloodborne is probably slightly harder than three, but I played a little bit of the remastered version of the first Dark Souls game, and. If you're if you've played all the games in the Assassin's Creed series, I think it makes a pretty good comparison. The first game is a great game until you've played the others, at which point it, the first one becomes pretty much unplayable. And the Dark Souls games seem to me to be in a much the same boat. A lot of people don't care for two. Yeah, um, if you play two first, you'll enjoy three more. But if you play 3 first, you'll probably hate 1 and 2. Because 2 is a drastic step back from like the rest of the... Especially 2, because like, Dark Souls 2 is a drastic step back from the rest of the Souls series in terms of like the way some of the mechanics work. Uh, do you want to put down your summon sign, or should I just make a mad dash for my souls? I'll, I'll throw down my summon sign. And also, if you're getting on, on it, if you get it on Xbox, let me know. I'll totally play it with you. If you're interested. God, imagine if he got sniped by Malcolm Reynolds. Because that, that's like entirely his domain, especially Dark Souls 2. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They're like all the videos I've seen have been 3. A lot of them have been three, but like his. Well, I don't know. He might have finally gotten perma banned from two, but a lot of his, a lot of his videos, uh, even after three came out, were in Dark Souls two, and it was just like, hey, what if I created a bomb that made the entire map proc toxic? <laughs> I mean, at the very least, that's better than a knife that permanently ruins your character. Pay others to snipe streamers? Oh yeah. For Dark Souls? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? It's a lucrative market. Some people try and run, uh, uh, what is it? There's a program specifically designed for Dark Souls. I think it's like Watchdog or Farron Watchdog. Not exe or something alongside their games, so that way they don't get stream sniped. But I mean, hackers know how to get past that, anyways. You're only like, only like low tier hackers won't waste their time <laughs> to hack people or to stream snipe them. I mean, both are crazy. I'll give you that, but.
people are bored. Looks like we're back to bored, the beginning of things. the evening with our issues. You're Embered, right? I'm not. Thank you for mentioning that. Stream snipe to kill streamers? I'm even looking at your stream and I'm not noticing. Yeah, no, yeah, they they snipe a lot. It's it's a lot of like of like, oh, let me embarrass this streamer in front of his audience because I don't have better things to do, I guess. I don't know. I don't have an audience, but he does, therefore he must feel the shame. That's probably how that goes. Alright, cool. Hey, maybe I won't die. Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, you weren't the one who died last time. That was on me. Okay, I died like two seconds after. Oh. I don't even know why I'm fighting him. Let's just go. Yeah, I wasn't sure why you headed towards doing that myself. I should have bought embers while I was waiting. Oh well. Thank you! Oh no, please! Oh no, please! Oh, this is so not fair! Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna run past the enemies here to open up the shortcut, and then we can fight them on the way back if we want to. Yeah, just run past everything. Just go open the shortcut. That's probably more priority anyways. Alright, there's the souls. Jump, that's it. Yep. Let's see if we can stretch. Okay. Okay. Hey, back. Where's your I'm hitbox? Guessing the answer is Where's no. your hitbox, woman? Where is your hitbox, woman? I pulled off the parry. All right. Shortcut me is open. The get good. Oh, okay. So I'll make my way back over there, and we can head for the tree. And then I can get some souls, so I'm not poor. Do I just need to walk up to the tree to start the fight, I guess? It'll, it'll take a second, yeah. Just like, start murdering something. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna kill all the extra people before I really focus on the tree. I mean, I'd rather not... they'll keep spawning until oh. we go down. That's annoying. I mean, you can, if you want, just to, like, keep us from getting overwhelmed or whatever, but... Also, he'll periodically sit on them if we just stick near him anyway, so... I need more stamina regeneration, he's gonna sit. Well, the... I'm dead. <laughs> um, we can get to the Coranthi ring pretty quickly from here. After this, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Uh. We have the shortcut. All uh. oh, right, yeah. I don't know how long this bottle of water has been in here, but I feel like I shouldn't have drinking this. Drinking. Drinking, drank, whatever. Drunk. Consume. Drink. I should not have drank this. Okay. I think drink is correct, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. Oh, rats, please. Ooh. 
Lord of Rodents. Ow. The dogs ignore backstab iframes. Go kill yourself. They, you're just the worst enemy type in like literally every single capacity. Ooh. I could summon Please happiness. Please go through. I am begging you, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna die to dogs. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Time to pop them tree nuts. Oh dear. You yeah, don't get hit with those, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh no! Oh, he just hit me with that, okay. Okay, this should be where he cracks the floor. Yep, there it is. Now we fall down. We fall way further than we have any right to survive. Yeah, the longest fall that we survived. But... Oh, he grabbed me. That's probably death. I think you survive one. Oh no, sir. Oh no, sir. Please don't sit on me. I'm begging you, sir. I'm not into that. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so there's one on his back. I think he grabbed me again. Front, I think that's it. That's the rest really of this blast is wasted. Oh, he's gonna sit again. I can probably make do with just using one there. Can't wait for him to grab you a third time. Given the amount of damage it dealt last time, even if he does, it probably won't instantly kill me. It bugs me a little bit that he's not, like, weak to fire. Oh. I guess that would make yeah. some sense. Like, I think he's resistant to fire because, like, the excuse they give is like, Oh, well, it's the curse. The curse makes him resistant. But it's like, I don't... He's still a tree. He... Like... <laughs> so he can knock, o knock you over without dealing any damage, apparently. Oh? Yeah, because he did exactly that. Not aware of that. Or you know, I guess. Yeah, I got an ember for free. I don't have to buy it. I am so poor. <laughs> and I got some souls. I am slightly less poor than I was five minutes ago. All right. So, uh, oh no, wait. I'm, I'm. Yeah. Okay. It gives me a free ember, and then I'm embered because I helped your thing. Everybody wins! Except for me, because I'm going to get invaded while I'm waiting here. <laughs> I got invaded while I was waiting here. Why okay. were you waiting somewhere, though? <laughs> Why not immediately <laughs> just go to the bonfire? To the bonfire. <laughs> okay, and of course the saw guy is also here on my side of the bridge. I mean, if all you're being invaded by is Hodrick, you should just be able to rest without dealing with him. Can you? That's what I was, away, I was able to before. Hey, Saw Dude? Saw Dude? Okay. That will let me rest because the Strigoff is here. So, I give the quick. transposing kiln to this guy on the throne, right? To Ludlith the Legless, yes. <laughs> Mm. 
Can you let me go for two seconds so I can go to the bonfire? Get to the bonfire? Huh. Get to the bonfire? Nope. Okay, cool. Alright, that's it. I'm just using my hands. The parry timing of my hands isn't, like, stupid. The fact that your hands even are capable of parrying is still hilarious to me. Somehow I missed that one already. Hey, can you do me a favor and use warmth? Awesome, thanks. You know, you could just wait to fight him until I'm there to help. I mean, he's kind of blocking the bonfire. Alright, I'm dead. So just out of curiosity... Admit it, like, obviously, neither of them will suit the build I'm going for now. But are either of the weapons from the Cursed Rotted, from the Cursed Rotted Great Woods soul any good? Oh, well, how may I... Um, I'm trying to think. What are the weapons? One Hollow is a sword, Slayer, right? Great Sword, and a Spear that does poison. <sighs> Spear's garbage. Um... Hollow Slayers is a pretty good PvP sword, from what I hear. Mm. So I'm guessing you're just pouring every level you get into strength, aren't you? Absolutely. At the very least, so I can use, if not the the halberd, then the split leaf great sword. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even mind using that. Yeah. At least for a little while. Because then I can just spin to win. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I saw a video earlier about the, um, the Pontiff's right, Left Eye so Ring. Done. Uh, they are now. There is what were you saying? Apparently, because remember when we were discussing the Pontiff's <clears throat> Left Eye last week, I looked up the number of hits required to get it to trigger. Apparently, those have been reduced without the wiki ever being updated. Oh? Like, the game got updated, but the wiki hasn't been. I think the reduction really only, mostly only applied to really heavy weapons, though. Like, apparently, great swords and hammers. The number of hits you had to get with them was reduced from 8 to 4. Oh, but not ultra great swords. Ultra Great Swords 2, I think. No. Oh. Basically just big That's weapons that take a long time to get multi-hits. <laughs> That's gotta be broken with the freaking dual Ultra Great Swords. I'm sure. Did he take no damage He's from like... my backstab? No, he took damage. Not a lot. Okay, Saw Dude, please! God, you're the worst. What weapon does Hodrick even have? Hollow Slayers. Ah. You finished hey, off Sawboard? Yep. Ah. He will parry you, by the way. Yeah, he's done it to me before. Almost got him off the cliff. He tried to parry me right there. He tried to parry you through the gate. I mean, I managed to hit him through the gate, so...
That was probably a bad spot because he's just gonna get heal on his you know. I mean, I guess we probably ought to kite him away from that. Or he can just stand there and not move. What did he do to me? He did like his little fire breath garbage. Oh. Yeah, you cannot do that, sir. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Not that it matters, because I only normally have one use of it, so I have none when summoned in, but I just realized I didn't have my Ashenestus flask equipped. Wow, I was going to say, maybe I could just go ahead and use this now. It takes up all of my stamina with like one swing. Nice. <sighs> okay, maybe not. Thank you, sir. Ow. Oh, God, no. Alright, game, stop making me activate things. I swear to God. Having trouble? That hit the tree and it did damage to me. Apparently. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna get this bone shard, because I'm pretty sure this is it over here. Oh. Where is it? In amongst the javelin? I rolled game. That wasn't even supposed to hit me. But whatever. Yeah, you, probably on it. you honestly probably should have waited for that until you had talked to the giant. Whatever. We're just activating the shortcut, anyways. That's fair. Occupied while you head for the shortcut. Probably die oh, in the process. I for that pyromancer crap. Yep, up on top of the whatever you want to call this place. All right. Well, I won't keep we the fatty the occupied because she just walked off the edge. Oh, good. <laughs> Makes your job easier. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hey, the case to school. Actually, go ahead and throw that on right now. Because I know the case is parry timing. That's not that hard. I would imagine it's the and same it as the me. hand parry timing. I, mean. I think it's slightly faster. Or at least its frames start sooner. Alright, scoot. Alright, go back to Undead Settlement, and then we'll go get the Pyramids. I want to do that before I get the tree. Alright, well, I'll probably go ahead and hop off after we've gotten the tree for you. Fair enough. Well, hey, you work tomorrow, don't you? I do. I'll go 
continue my Persona playthrough. Again. Oh yeah, so you remember a while back, uh, the video we saw <clears throat> of someone who, of people, some people who had made a gaming computer that used the internals of an Xbox One X and a PS4 Pro so that it could play PC, Xbox, and PS4 games. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I did that with the Switch. Apparently they're, like, producing those to sell now. They start at 2,000-something yeah. each. Yeah. That's My it's pretty cool. My son's down, by the way. And I think they added, um... I think they added the Switch, if it's the one that I'm thinking of. I know there's a version out there where they have Xbox, PS4, and Switch, and PC. Like, all rolled into one. Mm -hmm. And it's even like, you can even like use the different consoles at the same time. Like, they showed a video yeah. of one dude playing Spider-Man and another dude, like, playing Halo or something. Yeah, and then it has like, like a oh, okay. capture card so that everything is run through the PC part of it. It's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure it's like the size of my desk. Probably. I mean, with that much stuff packed into it, I'd imagine it would have to be. Wouldn't it? You know what I just realized? Hmm? Isn't it actually faster to get to the tree from the bonfire under the pyromancer anyway? Not really, because it just takes you back to that area. It takes you like, back to just above the sewers. Uh, I guess there's less people to deal with, so it's easier. Yeah, you can bypass the fatty completely. But... Same distance. Not what I meant to do. Ow. Did you just sprint past or are you fighting stuff somewhere? I'm fighting stuff, but I went down this other path. Uh, right. To get on top. Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer, a crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are, an encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies right, well, from this old man? <laughs> Most wise. I'm actually going to reiterate. go ahead and Cornix summon out and get over to this bonfire real quick. <laughs> And then you can resummon me. And by somehow, I mean backstep off of the thing all the Just way down. Just kill yourself? I actually read somewhere that supposedly using the separation crystal as a phantom has a chance of getting you, like, getting marks against you. Marks against you? What the yeah, hell are you like, talking about? Yeah, like towards a ban for disconnecting during multiplayer sessions. Okay. So I figured it was best, better for me just to jump off the edge than use the separation crystal. I guess that's gotta be like, you have to accumulate a lot of marks then? Because I feel like I've used it a lot as a phantom and nothing's ever happened to me. Or maybe it's just like if you separate too many times in a short period. Probably. Which, that's more understandable, but... Pretty be careful. Oh, don't forget to go back and get that bone shard at some point, too. Where is it? Oh, right, where the... It's over there, where the giant is. Yeah, the javelin man. Yeah. I'll head for that once I've 
You might just yeah, that's like... what I was saying. That's what I was about to say is once I have convinced the giant to stop Time shooting me. As promised. At first. Careful. <laughs> Ow. Learn pyromancy. Do not take give me fireball or... <laughs> Cortex is such a nice man. Too bad if I do his quest, I kill him. Not intentionally, oh, mind man. you. <laughs> Ow! They have so much range on those fireballs. I'm here. Oh, are we not headed straight for the tree? I was just gonna grab the ring real quick. Ah. Uh, it's, it's like right down here, isn't it, at the end of this thing? Yeah, at the end of the little not quite bridge. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab that and then we'll head to the tree. Sir, can you get can you get out of the way? No? Alright. Fire cluttering, hey. Alright, let's go. Oh hello, pot man. What? You don't want to fight the pot man? Fear the pot. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about like him being the pot man and his pot is dope, <laughs> but... You know. What am I at strength wise? 15? Great. If I two hand a weapon, it gives me one and a half stats, technically. Okay. And? So, if I want. So long as I two hand the sword, that means I only need to get to like. 18 strength? Yeah, because then that would. Because then while two handing, I would effectively have 27 strength. Yeah, right, and I mean, like what that. kind of person doesn't two hand a weapon that they're using in this game unless they have a shield? Well, if it's like a dagger or something, you know, you don't really need to two hand True. that. Technically, I don't need a two handed katana either, but. I mean, if you don't, though, you'll be punching when you try to walk. No, it'll actually just do the weapon skill. It will if you do the weapon skill button. I said, like, I'm talking about if you try to block with it, you'll punch. I guess, but why would you be blocking with a katana? Because dogs. Because, like, it's a that's about as useful as blocking with, like, a dagger. I mean, that's fair, but because dogs. I mean, if you have a katana, you can just do the, like, hold the RP attack, and that deals with them pretty effectively. It's better than blocking. Oh, he's gonna sit. Was it, you were Stark that one time we made that fall and it killed you. It killed you. Huh. Like, the game just messed up and was like, nah, this fall is gonna kill you, and you just died. That does sound familiar. I might have both of you guys. You don't have somebody. I've been grabbed. I've been grabbed you. Ow, I've been stepped on and died. Ooh, I gotta hit the city. It's not possible for me to put my summon sign down in the boss room, is it? <laughs> nope. Oh well. Oh, he grabbed me. Okay. 
Well, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but it's still annoying. He's dead. Oh. That's oh probably enough Titanite to upgrade my swords again. Oh yeah, so apparently, pole arms are the absolute worst weapons to use the Pontiff's left eye with. I'm not surprised. They look like really slow. Well, I don't know. If you use something like Black Knight or Split Leaf, I mean, those are pretty quick. That That's not it. Like, Attacks. apparently, each weapon has a programmed in amount of hits before it starts healing. And then mm -hmm. there's, a like, there's a decay timer, basically. Like, there's a certain amount of time before you lose the healing effect. Like, with great swords, you can have a good 10 seconds between your attacks and still get the healing effect. I think mm. with pole arms, you have to hit 8 times before the healing effect starts, and it decays after 2 seconds. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you wanted to build? Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. what I am going to do, I am going to go and grab the, um, the Clanthy Ring, got that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna, oh, we can't summon in there, can we, anymore? Nope! We should well, I mean, gone we can't it. summon in that area where the ring is anyways. Oh. Alright, well, in that case, I'm not gonna bother with it until, I'll probably go get it and the Bone Shards before we play again next week. But yeah, with okay, that... Okay, I'm just getting body blocked by rats. Nice! I'm going to go ahead and end my stream, because I have to be up early. Yeah, I'm going to grab the client the ring and then I'll probably be done. Yeah, I mean, we won't be able to summon into each other's worlds again until we get to Halfway Fortress. Oh! Like the swamp. Yeah. Right, that's why I always lure that thing down the elevator shaft instead of fighting it, because I never have any help. Uh, well, I guess I will talk to you some other time. Yep, I will see ya. Shh, still. Yep, see ya. Thank you.